Hello everyone, at the request of the subscriber, I did a lesson on painting jeans in the armor paint. Hello Christian, let's get started. First, I create the bus material. Drag and drop all the necessary maps into the material editor and assign them to the corresponding channels. I am mixing the normal maps of the jeans material with the normal maps of the model using the overlay mix method with the separate x, y, z node. Also, I have two model normal maps. The first is higher, the second is less. I mix them too. Mix method. This is necessary to adjust the strength of the normal map. I don't know how to adjust this parameter differently in this program. Add a mapping node to set the scale and rotation of the textures. I decide to fix the roughness map. So it seems to me to look better. Assign the material to the model. Transfer the layer to the painting layer. Erase the material from some parts of the model using ID Mask 2. Also, using the ID Mask 2, I select the pocket area and apply the bus material. Rotate texture along the axis. Transfer the layer to the painting layer. Merge the created layers. Duplicate the base material. Again, the ID Mask tool. I select the area below. Put duplicate material and edit it a bit. I transfer the layer into painting layer, merge the created layers. Now, in the correct way, it was necessary to select element using the ID mask tool and assign the material separately. But for some reason, in this area and on the front of the model, there is a glitch with the UV texture. Cheerful, I do as show in the video. I apply material to the model and then erase some parts. Create a new material, black. Add a new brush. In the brush editor, transfer this texture here and assign it to the transparency channel. Create a new layer. I turn off all the channels on it. Expect the color channel. And set the blending mode to the multiply. Draw the shadows. In order not to go beyond the cut, I use the mask ID tool and draw only on the select element. Then a new layer, the same material, the same setting, but with a standard brush and low hardness while. Merge the two layers. New layer, I draw the shadow below, the setting are the same.
new layer, I draw small details and shadow brush setting on the video. I select the direction checkbar. This allow you to follow the brush mask for the direction of the cursor. Then I select blue tools, blue the drawn lines. New layer, I draw shadow on the belt. I create a new brush, a texture with two lines. In the setting I increase the value of lazy radius, increase the radius of the brush and lazy step. This increases the distance between the element of the brush. Create a new layer, draw stitches of thread by selecting the stamp tool. And again, a program glitch. In fact, you just had to check the directional checkbox and draw a line without any problems. But for some reason, the brush doesn't work. So, I draw an arc and erase later, making gaps. Using this method we draw lines where necessary. I draw a button. Next, create a new light material and a new layer. I draw light areas.
and after I blur them, set up layer blending mode at transparency. As a result, I turn out like this. As an option, you can also add an element to the color map. Holes, patches, abrasion at the edge. Write in the comments. Do the second small part about it. That's all for today. Thank you all. Subscribe to the channel and take care of yourself.